This spring, we decided to graft over some of our Cabernet Sauvignon over to Petit Verdot and Malbec. And this was a decision that was made after we finished our soil study. The soil mapping has shown us the different profiles, the different soil characteristics that really does well in connection to the growing practices of Petit Verdot. And from that map, we, we saw areas on the ranch that, oh, look at that, we can actually grow Petit Verdot really well there as well. And another variety that we like to grow or that does really well in these profiles is, is Malbec. Rob stumbled across some Malbec a number of years ago in one of our growers' vineyards as well. And we said, well, look, we can grow Malbec here. We can grow Petit Verdot here. Cab doesn't do as well, so we decided to go ahead and change that variety over. Because we chose to graft, we can actually have the plants grow and mature at a more rapid pace versus if we actually replanted the vineyard. So what grafting will allow you to do, since you have an established grapevine already, you can actually change the variety on top, and we'll go more into that, and now you'll have the ability to produce fruit in two years, whereas planting a vineyard, you'll actually take you more, like four to five years. It's also less impact on the atmosphere around us, our, our little microclimates that we have. We're not disturbing the soils. We're not actually ripping and disking and really disturbing a lot of the natural vegetation that we have around us. It's a low impact application. Grafting for us is a specialized team will come in for us that that's all they do year round is graft grapevines. And because of that, you get great success. So grafting entails a couple different processes. When we originally plant the grapevines, they have what we call a rootstock. And now the, the rootstock is something in itself. It is the part of the plant that grows into the soil media. We've chosen the rootstocks for the specific soil type. So if it's a real rocky soil type, then we'll choose a rootstock that is suitable for that environment. If it's a, more of a sandy based material, we use a rootstock that's suitable for that environment. So it's really like if you're gonna go on a marathon run, you're gonna put on a set of running shoes. If you're gonna go dancing, you're gonna put on a set of heels. Once that's planted in the ground, then we have what we call a scion, which would be Cabernet Sauvignon. And the scion will actually get Get grafted on top of that rootstock. So you have the rootstock growing in the media and now Cabernet Sauvignon growing on top of that. And that's what we actually grow in the vineyard and train out and what is what you see as our current grapevines. In a particular area, what you would do with grafting, you'd go in and you'd actually cut off the vertical part of the grapevine above the root stock where the Cabernet Sauvignon was. Once you've actually cut off the top section of the grapevine, it's really important to let that actually bleed or weep, what we would say, for about a week. And, and what we're looking for is all the, all the sap that's actually flowing up through the grapevine to actually release itself, because it's got a lot of pressure inside there. It's starting to wake up, it's, it broke dormancy, you know, it's actually waking up. And all that material that it would normally drag up through the roots, through the xylem, and up through the plant to build leaves and structure and whatnot needs to be released. So you cut it off, you let it weep for a week to lower that pressure inside the, the grapevine. And we'll actually have Malbec or Petit Verdot, little, little cuttings, little pieces of wood that have little buds on them. So when we go back and say what bud break is, that's where those growing points are. So with those growing points, you'll actually, with a really sharp knife, you'll cut that little bud off and you actually apply that to the vertical point of the grapevine that you had just cut off. In preparation for grafting, after the plant has actually weeped for let's say a week or so, it's really reduced a lot of the internal pressure that it has through the xylem, it will actually the, the grafter will actually come up with his saw, very similar to like a Christmas tree saw, and he'll actually make a cut on both sides of, of the original grapevine. And what that'll also allow, it'll actually have little weeping pockets. It'll have what you can almost consider like a, like a waste valve. And so once the grafting takes place up where we're gonna place the buds, where we make the tea bud, it's actually a tea cut, and we place those new Malbec Petit Verdot buds, in the sides of the grapevine itself. When the plant starts to actually grow, to incorporate those and make those its new growing points to, to establish a new grapevine, changing the variety over, if there's too much pressure, if we get a little bit of rain or we irrigate or something like that happens, it doesn't try to actually force all that material through those two growing points. 
and it has the ability to actually release some of that pressure down low. It had it through the top and now it has it through the bottom as well. So each grafter has his own little quick trick that he likes to do before he does the budding application. And the guys will grab the sticks, they'll really examine them, some will take their knife and rub the flaky bark off to make sure it's a nice, clean, smooth piece of wood. And they'll cut them off and they'll catch them in the air. I mean, it's a really cool piece of art. They'll take them and they'll, they'll hide them in like a piece of moist newspaper. A lot of guys will insert them into their cheek. The point is, is you really want to keep them nice and moist because it's a growing, it's a piece of growing tissue and you don't want that to dry out because then it'll, it won't actually work. The grafting experiment is really exciting for us because it really ties in the soil mapping project that we, that we concluded and it allows us to really actually accelerate our time frame whereas if we planted a new vineyard it would take four to five years. Well in the grafting process really speeds that up quickly and it's exciting because we, we know we have some really good soil profiles out here and now that we've grafted Rob will be able to tell us in a shorter period of time if, it re if he really likes the fruit or not. And that's really exciting for us because if we're successful there, then Rob's successful, then we're all successful together.